time is not a currency to be stored. At most, we can invest it in the moment to write a new story, a new chapter in our lives. This is the story of my hay bike Tyson. Products come and go in our lives. We are constantly being advertised to. Heck, this is an advertisement. And that probably drives you nuts. It drives me nuts. I don't like that. But this e-bike had so many features, I didn't even know them all when I first got it. I actually spent a week on this bike before I learned many of the amazing features that I'm going to talk about in this video. Not only that, but this e-bike has connected my family and given us something that is creating lasting memories. And for that, I don't feel guilty advertising. Check it out. Another hay bike. <laughs> We're literally coming to Home Depot to rig up our hay bike. And look it, there's another hay bike sitting there. And then I got an extended one. And just like that, the pen, the Haybike Tyson, was writing a new story, a new chapter. So let's see how fast this Haybike Tyson can go. The 750 watt motor paired with the 15 amp hour 48 volt battery will run you up to 28 miles an hour and up to 55 mile range more than capable to get you to the fishing spots. And this bike comes with a four amp fast charger to charge the bike back to full charge in about three to four hours. Another big concern though that we've had with having e-bikes is fire safety. This bike actually is UL certified and independently tested for fire safety. <laughs> nice. The hay bike Tyson got me into places where I wouldn't have been able to take a vehicle. Places where there was no parking. But most importantly, it's created lasting yep. memories. Fish on. Yep. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, check out that beauty. There is a super cool feature built into this bike, which I'm gonna talk about a little later, but right now we're gonna talk about the towing and carrying capacity. It is amazing on this small, compact e-bike. Check this out. I'm towing a boat. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I just had to test it. I could have gone faster. You ready, buddy? How many thumbs up? Two? Alligator. You think an alligator? Well, I don't know if we have the rig set up on your LOL pink uh, fishing rod for an alligator, but we might be able to get an alligator with this. These are some of the Bill Dance finest live red worms. Hit the button and we hold it in, okay? And then we... Oh my goodness! That was an amazing first cast. Look at Sailor, you got a fish. Wow, what kind, look at that. 
Ooh, pretty. Look at it, it's about as big as you if we hold it over here. Whether we're going out on an adventure as a family or I'm simply getting groceries, the hay bike Tyson has been awesome. I will say having a crate on the back made it a lot easier. You'll see the display is on while I was walking up to the bike. That is because this bike has a 4G smart display. It is one of the few e-bikes on the market that I've seen that has this. It can send you alerts to your phone, even if your phone is not within any Bluetooth range. That's because it's working on a cellular network. It will alert you if your bike is tampered with, stolen, you can track your bike, you name it. You'll see the derailleur here is actually protected. I love that feature. Also the chain, I like how it's kind of captive in the sprocket, which is a 110 millimeter sprocket. So I thought it would be good to see if this e-bike can go up this parking garage because parking garages have steep slopes. So you can see there, that's a pretty steep slope. We're gonna just start off at speed one, which is only doing about 7.8 miles an hour. And I'm not gonna pedal anymore. So right now I'm not pedaling and we're on speed one and we're going up this very, very steep parking garage. We're only doing 5.4 miles an hour, but I have a loaded e-bike. I mean, I have a bunch of stuff on the back. I weigh 205 pounds. We're gonna see if speed five delivers more juice to where it goes up. So I'm not pedaling at all. Oh yeah. So speed five, I'm actually accelerating. I am doing, I did 12 miles an hour there on that short run. I'm accelerating still and I was I was doing 13 there. You can see that this e-bike for a folding e-bike, it also has dual shock absorption right here. And that is another reason why I wanted this e-bike. You have dual hydraulic disc brakes and then right down here it has a protected derailleur, which is huge because I've had bent derailleurs. Um, if you're taking them out on the trail, you're gonna hit things and they thought ahead and they put a, a, a protective guard here, which I really like. They also have another little like protective guard here, which helps protect the sprocket here from getting hit. Um, you got a nice big rack here on the back. And then we actually just attached this milk crate with rod holders. And then that allows us to be able to store a bunch of things. Come over here on the other side, you can see that we attached a trailer. And so we found one of these kids trailers, really, really cheap and it's simple to attach and detach so you just pop out the pin and then you just pop it back on so all you do is you take that nut off and you put on the little hitch piece for the bike trailer it slides on pin goes in it locks on and then you can strap it also for added uh, security to your frame if you want uh, but sailor really really loves riding around in the trailer she likes going up and down the hills on the boardwalk and on the trail so Due to the bike's really good lighting system and turn signals, I feel very confident going out at it. Plus, I love that it has a horn. Last, but certainly not least, is the portability of this e-bike. Sure, it's a little bit heavy still. It's well made, but it can fit in the back of our vehicle, and that is huge. It's really easy to put together. You just have two clamps there, and in no time, you're ready to go. The clock's relentless the tick. In the truck. Here, let me take your luggage. Oh, yeah, that's good. Reminds us that time is not a currency to be saved. 
It cannot be stored. The hands of the clock sweep through the chapters of our lives. So we should write a story that's worth reading in every moment.